Hi, and good afternoon. Uh, my name is David. I use he, him pronouns, and today I am running a game of uh, Bite Marks. Um, Bite Marks is a Powered by the Apocalypse game um, of werewolf pack dynamics um, in which in which the players all, all play um, uh, a group of werewolves um, dealing with each other in the world around them. Um, in this, this, uh, this is by uh, Becky Anderson of um, uh, Black Armada Publishing. Um, and uh, you can check that out at the link I've put in the uh, in the notes down below. Uh, this game in particular, we have um, uh, all the players. We have read the um, uh, novel Wolf Song by um, uh, T.J. Clune, which is a um, supernatural romance um, uh, book, um, which is unsurprisingly set in a werewolf pack. Um, the um, and so we're using that as a kind of point of inspiration um, for uh, the game we're playing. Um, this game is being run as part of the um, uh, part of the Gauntlet, which is an online uh, role-playing uh, group. We we get together online. We have a sort of calendar where we can sign up for games like this one. Um, and um, you can find out more about us uh, on the website at gauntlet-rpg.com. Uh, you can also uh, find out more there about the podcasts that, that sort of we produce as well as uh, a monthly gaming zine called Codex that we release as part of our um, Patreon um, uh, subscription. So if you're interested in finding out any information on any of that stuff, do do check out the website. Again, I'll put a link to that down below. So that is uh, what we're doing here today. Um, so uh, I am going to ask uh, my players to, um, to introduce themselves um, and tell us um, a little bit about the character that they will be playing um and uh and what they got up to uh last time uh so i think today um uh we will uh we'll start we'll go in reverse character keeper order um and um i'm going to ask uh jammy uh first if you could uh, introduce yourself and tell us a bit about who uh, who you're playing yeah absolutely so my name is jammy i use they them pronouns and i'm playing ghost uh, I wasn't here last week. I'm super happy to get back into it. So I'm playing Ghost. Uh, their pronouns are he, they, and Ghost is of the Howl playbook. Their heartbeats are loving, secretive, and sacrificing. Um, and they have the ability to speak with the pack uh, telepathically and speak with the dead by consuming their dreams. And uh, so... I have a feeling we're going to find out why Ghost wasn't really around last time. I have a feeling it has something to do with the dreams of of certain portent uh, and what that means. I'm really excited to get into it. But Ghost is basically trying their best to keep the family together despite all the trauma that the family has been through and all of the cracks in the relationships. Uh, they want to do their best to uh, make sure we survive as a family. So yeah, so basically that's Ghost. <laughs> Sorry, it's muted there. Thank you very much for that. Uh, yeah, so next, um, Drew, if you'd like to introduce yourself and tell us a bit about who uh, who you're playing. I'm Drew. I use he and him pronouns, and I'm playing Jackson, the Pax Fixer. Um, Jackson has the heartbeats charming, connected, and torn, and uh, he also has the unofficial one nonplussed about the events that have occurred thus far. And uh, he uh, is worried about his connection with his human boyfriend, Paul, who is also the new Alpha's best friend. And uh, definitely concerned about where things are going. Brilliant. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, and uh, Sabine, if you would like to uh, uh, introduce uh, yourself and tell us a bit about your uh, character. Yeah, sure. My name is Sabine. I use any pronouns. I am playing Ivar, who uses he, him pronouns. Ivar is the enforcer of the pack. He has the heartbeats of guilty, acerbic, and loyal. Um, he's also the father of the aforementioned Paul and is worried about not just the whole Paul situation, but also about a pack of Omegas who might, or pack a group, a group of Omegas who are, might be making inroads about an unstable situation within our packs hierarchy and, uh, well, everything basically. Yeah. 
Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, and last but not least, uh, Stephen, if you would like to uh, introduce uh, yourself and tell us a bit about uh, who you are playing. You're muted, Stephen. Hey there, I'm playing Cody the Alpha, formerly the Cub. Uh, I, uh, I, I ascended uh, to the role last session. Uh, we're all going to have a nice dinner with Paul, uh, my BFBBF, my, my best friend, blood brother, brother forever, uh, uh, who I, uh, who I've decided, uh, for the pack that we are going to tell him because I mean, honestly, every significant person in his life is a werewolf, like, uh, <laughs> That feels like that feels like a bit of a of a bit of a stretch for like uh for like secrets to keep from him. <laughs> um uh, 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 we'll see how that goes. Uh Jackson response has decided to uh I mean let's 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 be let's be blunt, kidnap his boyfriend. Uh, uh, I mean, go on impromptu vacation with, <laughs> uh, uh, Marcus is, is pouting in his room, um, as I'm sure Ghost is well familiar with whenever Marcus would lose a relation, lose a, lose an argument. Uh, uh, and, uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much. So yeah, just, just, uh, just, uh, yeah, to quickly recap over a couple of other things that happened last time, just, just for, uh, familiarization. Um, that's not what I was looking for, but anyway, um, the, uh, yes, the, um, we had the, uh, um, we discovered the the um, presence of uh, a group of Omegas who seem to be cooperating, or at least not attacking each other, um, in the in the forest and hills a little outside of town. Um, uh, yeah, Cody had some talk with um, um, uh, Abigail Carver, the uh, Pax Law Keeper, um, out at her cottage. Um, there, there was some yeah significant conversations with Paul, including yes at the just at the end of the the yes uh, or well just not quite the last thing that happened uh, the the um, uh, Jackson's suggestion that Paul leave with him before just before um, uh, Cody uh, successfully challenged and took over the alpha position from um, uh, from Marcus just after it was actually uh, yes yeah sorry yeah that's yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, that is um, uh, that. That is where th we left things. Uh, oh, before we get. Uh, oh yeah, and heads up for a ghost. There was a big blow up between Jackson and me uh, last session, where I said uh, said that Jackson wasn't good enough for Paul, and uh, and Jackson said that I was just jealous of their relationship. So that's also a thing. That there, there was copious usage of the uh, of the spill uh, of the spill mechanic last time. I think it's fair to say. Um, yeah, no, that's brilliant. Thank you. Um, so yeah, before we get uh, go any uh, any further, the um, uh, we'll just quickly recap over the um, uh, safety tools we'll be using. So we'll be using the X card um, as ever. If you want, to, if there's anything that comes up in a scene that comes up in play that you're not happy with, for whatever reason, whether that be um, you know if somebody's missed a line or a veil, if um, um, if someone has um, you know just introduced some content you're not happy with, whether that be because it's it's sort of um, subject matter you'd rather not deal with, or because you just feel that tonally it's not quite right for the uh, for the the point of the game we're at. Um, then, then do feel free to, um, uh, to to use the X card. We'll we'll remove that content from the game. We'll we'll make note of that going forwards. Um, you won't have to explain yourself. I might ask you to clarify exactly what it is, but that's that's fine. Um, you won't, you don't need to explain why. 
We'll also be using the script change tool. This has a couple of different um, different commands to use, uh, most notably pause, which is just a call to let us know that we're just going to take a quick break um, from, from the action in the game, whether that be because you actually need to leave um, leave leave the, um, the, the, the the game briefly, uh, it was like the doorbell goes or something and you need to go and answer it, that's fine. Um, or if you just want to have a quick out of character discussion about the um, uh, about the scene, about what's happening, about what you might want to do, about what another character's doing, any of that stuff, j just call a quick pause and we can have that discussion. Uh, we will be using as the other, the other sort of significant commands are fast forward, which can be used to skip over something. Whether whether we just feel something the scene's going on a bit long, we want to get to a decision point. Uh, we don't want to go into detail on a particular description of something going on. Uh, that sort of thing. We can call a fast forward, or we can call a rewind if we just want to go back and make a quick tweak. Um, this can work a bit like the X card. Um, the um, or just just to, you, you realize you want to frame something slightly differently. Uh, the last uh, the other safety tool will be primary safety tool we're using is the um, open door policy. Uh, this is basically just to say if at any point you do need to leave, um, feel free to do so. Whether that be you need to take a quick uh, quick few minutes break um, or you need to leave the session entirely, um, that is absolutely fine. Um, if you can let me know um, if uh, you know roughly how long you'll be gone if you're taking a quick break or if um, you know if you're going to be gone, gone for good if, if um, then if you can let me know that'd be useful just for for purposes of like planning um, like what's going on uh, but you don't feel that you have to if you need to leave you need to leave and that is fine um, I will just give a very uh, minor word of caution that I um, I have had a bit of a headache this morning it seems to be mostly gone now. Um, so it should be fine, but if that does like reoccur or gets worse or whatever, I might have to to call it um, call it short today. But touch wood, uh, I should be okay. Um, but that's what the open door policy is there for. So um, um, the uh, so yeah, that's our safety tools. So yeah, um, the um, before we pick up um, in uh, sort of where we where we left off last time. Um, I have uh, written a love letter for Ghost. Um, so, uh, Ghost, if you would like to, uh, if you would like to read uh, read that out, and we can uh, we can resolve that. Absolutely, yeah, and it's so beautifully written too. Uh, so, the love letter is, dear Ghost, after the family dinner, your dreams are restless, with disturbing visions borrowing in like tree roots into soft earth. You have a choice. So one, put up your defenses and keep the visions out. Add two to the pack pool for upholding the traditions and take plus one four to your next roll to unleash the wolf. Or two, let the visions in and roll with plus heart. On a 10 plus, you may explore the visions and ask three questions about them. Take plus, five, uh, take plus one forward acting on the answers. On a seven to nine, <clears throat> the visions are fragmentary. You may ask about a threat you think is looming, and you may ask a follow-up question, but if you do, you must fill to a pack member and take plus one forward acting on the answers. On a six minus, the visions confirm the thing you fear the most will come to pass. What is it? You must fill to the pack member most affected by this grim portent. With love from your GM. Uh, so I know that the logical uh, mature thing to do would be to uphold tradition uh but i think ghost can't i think ghost can't resist the vision so i think we'll have to roll and see how it goes uh i'm pulling up the, i thought i pulled up the dice room okay so I'm rolling with 2d6 and that's heart so i'm rolling with a plus plus three okay so here we go a nine, so close to a ten. <laughs> oh no, wait, wait, that's a nine plus three. Oh, I hit a ten. I can't believe it. Like a 11, 12 in total. I can't do math. Uh, but yeah. Yay. Excellent. Perfect. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, so, um, yeah, um, as as you're as you're dreaming, um, you will um, start to. Um, um, you'll start to kind of uh, the, the dream will shift and change um, a little bit. It's um, the whatever you were dreaming before it sort of starts to sort of dissolve away, um, and you find yourself um, standing 
in the forest. Um, uh, I think I think at least at the, at the start of things, you'll be there um, in in your wolf form. Um, obviously, you you um, that may change as things proceed. Um, the, you, the it's got that smell of the forest that that woodsy uh, woodsy smell, um, but there you can feel a um, almost like a a heartbeat, um, uh, like in the ground underneath your feet. Um, it's um, something s slow and rhythmic, but but very definite and and sort of um, uh, yeah present all around you almost. Um, and um, what 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 do you kind of what can you what can you feel or what can you do um or what you experience um here that lets you know this is this is more than just a normal dream i know this is more than a normal dream because uh i've never i've never been able to see uh I've never been able to speak to my father. Like I see Daniel um, and I see him hanging around Marcus, but I've never seen him in wolf form. And when he comes out of the trees and he looks towards me and acknowledges me, that's how I know that this is more than just a dream. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, and um he will um, let out a um, a soft um, um, uh, um, a sort of soft woof um, of of um, acknowledgement, um, and he will say to you um, in that way in that way that you can communicate as wolves with with body language, with sound, with scent. Um, son, child, follow me. This. You must see this. It will not be easy, but you you must know. You must see. You must smell. Um, and yeah, he will. He will sort of motion for you to uh, to follow him. Or if he won't even motion for you to follow him, he will. He will start walking um, uh, down a down a path um, in the forest um, and expect you to follow along behind him. Because he is still, still he, he, you know, he he was an alpha. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think, in fact, I have to resist the urge to show my neck to him, like, and I realize there's a part of my subconscious that still views him as the alpha, even though I know that's not the case anymore. Yeah, and um, as you, um, um, as you, um, uh, it's you know follow down down a path it's like this is this is it's like familiar it's it's um it's clearly you can tell it's your forest you can tell it's your territory um but it's not it's not like a, a one-to-one you know it's exactly the same but it's it, it's still got that familiar feel to it um you know some of the, the, the trees aren't necessarily on the same place these paths aren't necessarily ones you recognize but it's you can still kind of there's still that like I said feeling of familiarity uh, there, um, and as you you follow down um, the um, uh, the um, these 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 paths these um, uh, there is um, you can smell before you see it um, uh, fire um, thick smoke um thick greasy smoke burning um the smell of both like um uh, burning burning pine resin but also um also the scent of burning flesh um it's it's um um a uh, and you'll come to yet yeah, sort of a, a like you can see um you can see the outline you can see like what looks like a clearing in the woods um but it's like that almost there's so much like 
smoke and fire burning out from the center of it you can't really make out what's there but it's um uh yeah and uh as we come closer to it i feel like the fur around me starts to ripple and i start to change back to my human form almost as if subconsciously like i didn't want that to happen and i reach out a hand uh, to touch my father's shoulder and I'll say, I'll ask, what, what is this? What, what's being burnt? Why does this feel so ominous? And um, the, um, and your father will kind of look up to you and there, there is a sort of mo a momentary pained uh, look um, in his uh, eye um, as um, he, uh, he you, you hear him uh, say, witches. Okay, I was choked on my teeth. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> um, and I look shocked about it. Well, is there is there something I should know about witches, or should I feel free to like interpret it? You can you can yeah feel free to interpret it as you as you wish but yeah yeah um. I think uh, yeah I'll I'll look towards the fire and I'll say but you and mother told me that it was never real that witches were never that the only magic was from the earth and that it belonged to us werewolves I never knew about witches. We, and I think, uh, I think with that, um, he will, um, uh, he will, um, it, shift into his, his human form and it's, it's clearly like him, but it's probably like the memory that you, you have of him from like when, when you were about like, uh, six or seven, you know that that sort of age when when you first started to really right. like form a form a, a picture of him. Um, uh, so a little younger than he actually was when when he uh, when he did die, but um, um, still recognisably him, obviously. Um, and um, he he will say th this. There are witches, many, many packs. Many packs have them, but are uh, the land here is cursed because of what they did, because of what was done to them. I do not know the details. It was centuries ago the for this the land here was twisted the we have always had a, you know, we have always struggled with it here. The but this, and he will kind of um, gesture towards the 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 um, the fire. This is the heart of it. And I think Ghost will start to realize. And they'll just quietly say, "What must I do to heal the land? What will the ha what will the land let me do?" I wish I could tell you. Your mother. Thought, magic 
would be the only way to heal it, to take out what was, what should not be, and return it to its, to what it was. But the It is not possible for a wolf to to wield magic as the witches do. We are what we are. We have our own power, but that is. we this this wound has never been has never healed we have never been able to heal it and i think ghost will look at the fire and say if the wound refuses to heal then that must mean that there is still magic in the world i will find these witches i will return the power to them i will do whatever the land needs Very well. Uh, very well, son. We, child, we will, I will, you have the strength, I think, to do this. But be careful. The powers, the powers that dwell in the land here are strong. They will seek any opportunity to get their claws into you, get their, twist you. They, do not let it claim, do not let them claim you, your, your pack, your friends, your family. They will, they will try to take everything from you. I am your son. There is nothing they can do to break me. I will make sure that the pack survives, no matter what. And um, I think you see um, a kind of, not, not exactly, uh, he doesn't exactly relax so much as just kind of slump a little and say, has taken much for me to come here to be with you, but it, it was worth it. I, just to see you one, one more time. And I think if that ghost is like, unable to lie to themselves anymore that this is that this is not real that this is not really their father um but ghost caught i think ghost will just look and, and reach over and and hold him and say i'm sorry that you felt like you had to do this i'm sorry that we weren't strong enough but we'll become stronger i promise you Thank you. Um, he will say, and he'll kind of, he'll put his, um, he, he'll put his arm, um, arms around you as well, um, and sort of pull you into a hug. But even as he does, you can kind of feel his um, arms um, slip, um, slip through you as he begins to fade, um, uh, fade into into nothingness. Um, and as as he does fade. Um, a um the the w one of the trees um uh one of the trees knee which now you look at it is looks it's it's got look it's kind of got that sort of um 
it's rotten um, and you know cracked and, and mostly hollow. Um, but a face um, appears in it, humanoid though not 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 distinct, um, and says, "Well, I did not think the old man would have strength enough." to come to your protection, little one. But soon, soon you will be ours. And I think Ghost will look at the face and reach out towards it and touch the face before Ghost says, I know what destiny awaits me but you will not have me before I will save my family. I have heard that many, many times, little one. You are not the first of your pack. We have consumed, you will not be the last. And I think that ghost will pull back and and really listen to the words. But then Ghost will say, then I will know that even though there have been many of us that have fallen to you, it was never enough to break us, not completely. Awesome. And I think with that, the 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 the, the heat um, uh, from the burning uh, burning clearing will will get more intense. The smoke will will billow in around you, and everything sort of fades to black. Um, and that is probably the point at which you will start awake. Yeah, and I think when when I wake up, like I find like there are tears on my face, it's tears that I couldn't shed while in the dream. Um, and when I look down, I pull back a shirt sleeve and one of the tattoos that I have, the magical tattoos that my mother gave me, it used to be this strong tree with large roots, but now the tree has that distorted face on it and the crack through it. Nice, nice. But yeah, I think I think I'll have to. I'll have to. Con I technically broke one of the pack traditions, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. They're there to be broken. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, brilliant. So. Yeah, and that's what I was asking about for because when you to break them, don't you need to disobey? Actually, like you're disobeying the traditions as if you as if they were a pack member. Yes, that's right. Um, and I, but I think in, so I think yeah, in this case, sort of the whole move was essentially doing okay, that. So cool. yeah, that's what yeah. I figured. I just yeah, yeah, to yeah. No, yeah, but no I, I appreciate the clarification. I also noticed that that um, like Stephen brought up a good point about us adding, like showing the neck to the to the alpha because we keep bringing it up. Yep. No, today. that's that's cool. Yeah. No, add that to the uh, add that to the um, uh, okay. pack culture if you'd like. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Like I, I absolutely see like the, the 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 pack culture and the slang stuff as being like um, living lists. If you if you think something something does seem to be coming up quite uh, quite often, then uh, then then feel free to to add that uh, add it to that list. Cool. Uh, yeah, and actually we'll just check in. Um, so I think um, um, I'm just checking your XP. So yeah, you you're full up on human XP, but you did spend some of that time um, as a wolf. Uh, we definitely saw you doing the, the bearing the neck thing, which is is um, part of your pack culture. So mark an XP for that. Do you feel like you hit one of your heartbeats as well? Ooh. Yeah, I think so. I think I hit the the loving while I was still in wolf. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely like wanting to show the neck and following my father without question, I think definitely um, hit that. Brilliant, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, yeah, well, I believe that means you hit your advance. So I think with that said, um, what we will do now um, is, uh, 
from 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 Ghost's perspective, you know, I think that the the next day, um, I, I don't know what you want to have been up to. We can we can revisit that maybe shortly. But um, where where things will um, to t- sort of tie us back into where we were last time, um, you will you will absolutely feel that moment at which um, um, uh, um, Cody seizes control of the pack from Marcus. Um, you particularly have probably been able to to feel now for a while, uh, partic- I mean, in general, ever since, um, um, so I just try, I, I always get the, the two of those names confused. Uh, so I will just refresh my self quickly. Um, Celia, that's it. Sorry, I always get Celia and Camille uh, confused in my head. So, uh, yeah. Um, so Celia, uh, you basically ever since Celia's death and uh, you know the loss of his tether, um, Marcus's sort of bonds in general have been fraying um, and growing weaker. Um, and um, yeah, the, his 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 sort of bond as Alpha now appears to have been shattered entirely. Um, and um, uh, and you feel sort of Cody's influence uh, beginning to assert itself over the pack. Um, uh, you will feel that change, and then then you, you'll probably um, uh, and but that's that's sort of where where then where we'll, we will pick things back up on is um, in the immediate aftermath um, of that uh, of where we left it last time. So. Uh, if memory serves, I think Cody, uh, Cody, um, Ivar, and Jackson were all three of them um, in the in the living room at the pack house, um, having just had a fairly fraught uh, discussion, particularly on the subject of Paul. Um, uh, Was Ivar still there, or did they go up to round up some of the other uh, pack members? I that... think Ivar had left at that point. Yeah. Right? Just to, to tell Paul about, I think he wanted, no, he, he left and then he wanted to go back to the house and talk to Drew and Paul and he missed Drew appearing there. So he's back on the way. Like, oh no, he wanted to round up the other pack members, right? Because we wanted to go against the Omega group. Yeah, that was what he was doing. So he's probably on his way to ghost because, uh, yeah, there is friends. So. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Um, so uh, yeah, um, I, I think um, we'll see. So um, yeah, um, I guess I'll check in first with um, uh, with Cody and with Jackson. Um, what was there? Do, do you think you had anything more to say to each other now, or is this sort of basically the? Um, I, I, I'm just I can't remember the, the precise details of where we left things last time, so um, I'll just check in with you both there. Um, I think the last thing Jackson said was that uh, he warned Cody that Paul would hate all of us and him and yeah. And uh, I had just I had just gotten a miss on dominating you so I feel like you're free to to do what you want to do at the moment and I assume it's not continue talking with Cody (laughs) I think that sounds right (laughs) awesome yeah um so um so yeah uh, in which case um uh Jackson what do you think your uh your next uh next step is Well, I mean, he did tell Cody that he was leaving. I think uh, he's going to start heading back to Paul. Cool, cool, excellent. So, um, uh, yeah, um, I think we'll. Uh, yeah, I think we can. We'll. We'll kind of. Um, uh, we can go go on to that, and then I'll, I'll check back in with those those remaining in the house. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think you'll get um, uh, get back to get back to the house. Um, 
where Paul, um, uh, where Paul is, and um, he will, yeah, he'll be kind of like I said, still a bit in a bit of a, um, a bit agitated in general um, as uh, as you get back, um, and um, he'll say, "Well, did you do whatever it was you enough to do?" Yeah, more or less. Are, are you packed? Yeah, sure. Um, and you know, he's got kind of just a you know just a small a small case um, uh, with him. Um, so uh, where are we? Uh, where are we off to then? How's California? California. <laughs> that. Jax, you said Hawaii? we'd go for a couple of days. I mean, we, 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 we'll barely get as far as, like, what, Montana at most? I, I He says, having absolutely no idea about how long it takes to drive anywhere in the US. Um, uh, but um, what, what, what are you... I thought we were going to, like, go to a... B and B or something for for the weekend, and you know, chat about it. You know, just have a talk about whatever the hell has got up your ass. I want to. I I want to explain. I do, but it's it's really complicated, and I'm worried how you'll react. You're not legitimately in a secret sex cult with my dad, are you? Because, I mean, Why, that would be complicated. Uh, uh, probably less complicated, actually, but no. Okay, that's that's not reassuring. Yeah, I... I don't know how... There are things I can't say. I wish I could, but it's not the way we do things. We, we who? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's where it gets sticky. Uh, I... Are you working for the government? Is you're not in a militia, are you? No, not a militia or the government. But there's things about my work that we just can't we can't share. It's it's for your safety, really. So is this whole like wedding photographer thing just a cover then? No, it's how, oh boy. It's how I help pay for the other thing. It's, it's complicated. <sighs> and, um, I think he's going to say, look, Jax, if you can't be honest with me about any of this, I, I don't know. I don't know. I want to be going anywhere with you right now. Definitely not to California. I mean, that just, that's, I can't leave everything behind. And I mean, that's like number one destination for serial killers. And and frankly, at the minute, I I don't know what's going on with you. I am, I've never hurt you. And it's, oh boy. 
we're not killers. We're not serial killers. Wait. Is this a is this a meth thing? Is it are you running drugs or uh no, definitely, definitely not drugs. It's no. No, we're not we're not breaking bad. I Look, if I tell you there's no going back for either of us, and it's it's not, it'll change things. Well, it's it's like I said, Jax. It's if I, I'm I'm really freaked freaking out and if you can't tell me i don't think there's any going forward for us either uh, i think jackson's just i i don't think he expected that and um He's going to kind of, oh boy. Where's Ivar right now? Somewhere at the house. I think you saw him wandering around. I thought uh, he was or... on his way to getting ghost. Yeah, he's on his way to getting ghost, but he probably is going to look uh, for I think ghost. we were at the house. Yeah, we're at the house because ghost might be at the house, and that's where I'm going. I, I was going well, to. No, but we were we were at the house to begin with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We started. All, all we all started out at the house, and now we're yeah. all walking around somewhere. No, uh, I, I mean, Ivar has a phone, you know, but so breaking the pack tradition. I mean, he technically have the permission of the alpha. Yeah, that's I mean, right. Technically, we were going to do it at the dinner, though. So I feel like there is a little bit of a breaking here. Yeah, I feel like a disobey role might make sense here just to see see how this goes, um, if that's cool with you. Sure, yeah. And I think as well, there's there's probably, because essentially because you, because of... Um, I, I think there's probably an extent to which you also don't fully, uh, especially with that failed domino roll from last time, you probably don't really view it as a legitimate order from an alpha. So yeah, I think it is fair to make a a a, a, um, a disobey roll and see see. Uh... All right, and that's with guts. Yep. Eight. Eight. So uh, on. Uh, um, on the display, uh, you yeah you disobey, but it troubles you greatly. Take minus one from the pack pool. Which honestly sounds sounds legit. <laughs> oh boy, Jackson kind of like he'll he'll look down and he'll say we're. We're not, oh, there's really no way to say this, but to just say it, we're werewolves. Oh, fuck off, Jax. Um, he, he, he's just gonna turn around and he starts undoing the bag and says, I think you just need to leave and come back when you're ready to actually talk to me, but I, don't want to see you uh, for a bit if you're not going to treat this seriously. I am treating this more seriously than I've treated anything. And I think uh, he'll kind of 
come alongside Paul and flash his eyes. Cool. Um, and Paul will um, look uh, look shocked. Um, so what what was that? Is that how did you do that? It's it's a thing we do. Uh, I am sorry that I didn't tell you that we didn't tell you, but there's good reason for it. You're serious about this. You're legitimately standing here telling me that you are a werewolf. And I have just really, really put in danger my spot in the pack. The pack? You mean there's, like... There's more of us. It's not my place to say who is and who isn't, but I am. This, if this is some viral thing you're trying to do here, I, I swear to God, you better be a werewolf because otherwise I'll kick your ass like all <laughs> over the place. Uh, werewolves. As he he's listening, I think Jackson's going to start just disrobing so like actual not not like like actual howling at the moon like lon cheney werewolves uh yes and no just just stay calm. Just, whew. And I think he'll switch. Shift. Sorry, shift. Awesome. Um, yeah. So um, I'm just. Yeah, I think I'm going to ask you to act on instinct here. Um, m mostly to see how... More more looking at how Paul reacts to this, I think. Um, but it feels like an appropriate, an appropriate move to make. Right. Uh, so that is a, um, a roll with... Um, yeah, with Feral. That's an eight. Cool. So, um, uh, yeah. So I think um, you know, you're you're able to to transform. Um, obviously, I mean, it's not about whether you're able to transform, but you 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 transform and um, Paul is freaking out a bit obviously um as as you would expect um but he he's sort of, oh fuck what the what is this what's what's happening what, what um and i think um uh you know you see him kind of um um scrambling to um to to sort of um um I think he. I think he. Um, he gets his. Um, he sort of yes is going to going to sort of start to. Um, uh, no, he's not going to try and run away. I don't think. But he he sort of um, he's he's clearly um, like you know like properly sort of um, uh, going into shock. And I think you know is is like. Um, um, um is is uh you know kind of um 
drops down in, in, into a sort of uh, uh, ball on the floor. Um, and it's saying, <laughs> Christ, what the hell is going on? What's, what is this? Um, uh, Jackson would approach slowly, kind of like doggy crawl. Yeah. And he put his, his head on, on Paul's hand. Um, and yeah, I think at this point, Paul is, um, um, is, is, um, like backed up against the wall, but I think after a moment, he does just kind of like, um, uh, strokes the top of your, your head very, very gingerly. Lean, lean into the touch and pant softly. He's, and it, it takes a little while, but eventually he does sort of calm down um, and um, I think puts like an like puts an arm around you and kind of squeezes you. And, and it's almost that like almost like he's like feeling that this is real and this isn't just like a, a, a big elaborate hoax of some sort. He says, how how long how what how did this happen what what is this jackson will have to uh to shift back i think he'll back yep. off first not to freak him out too too much yeah cool and yeah and he'll say things are stranger out there than uh, most people give them credit for. So, like vampires? I have never seen one. I don't. I don't know about that. But yeah. Uh, this is me. This is how I was born. And this is why we should leave. Late, but I California, what what, what 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 am I supposed to do with you there? Take you for walks on a lead? Uh, no, I'm I'm uh, I'm pretty good at exercising myself. Don't worry. We could just just go and be free of all this, all the politics and all the rules. What what? What rules? What politics? I, we're... It's complicated here. The others and uh, the land and but I could we could we could leave. Wait. Wait, you're. Are you saying my dad is a werewolf? Your dad's a good man. And I respect him very much. And I, I think that is the point where where he is going to uh, go for his phone, um, and we will uh, we will leave things there for now. I think actually we'll take a quick break at this point, um, as as we've been going for about an hour now, um, and we'll we'll jump in and see see what else is going on when we get back. Cool. Uh, see you all in, in uh, yeah. Give come back at twenty five past, um, and uh, yeah. See you all then. See you then. 
Awesome. So yeah, um, I think uh, I think while all that is going on, uh, yeah, I think I would like to see um, uh, see Iva um, uh, finding uh, Ghost and uh, see see how that goes. Um, if if we're okay to jump in there, sure. Yeah, unless unless Cody wants to have a scene first, or. I think Cody's also looking for ghosts, but I'm fine having that as a separate scene from from Ivar finding ghost. Yeah, I think the scene with Ivar and ghost might be interrupted at some point. Sounds makes sense. Yeah, sure thing. Okay. Yeah, so I'm knocking at your door, I guess, or scratching on your door, whatever. It's pack. Uh, I think scratching might be actually a thing that we do, do even when we're in human form, because when we're oh, not yeah. in human form, we can not knock. So the, that might have been just, uh, might just be a thing. That's true, that's true. How much time has passed since like the family dinner? Like, um, I think it's the next yeah, day. Yeah, I think this evening? is literally just the next day. Next day wow, evening. So, so. so what just happened? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I think ghost um, I think there's like a window to to the bedroom and ghost sneaks back into the through the window uh, and gets themselves ready, closes the window behind them and uh, says, uh, of, yes, uh, come in. Uh, I'm coming in and I'm saying, uh, hey, uh, ghost, uh, hi, um, we have a bit of a problem. We have problem? an, yeah, not just one, but this is the one I'm running around talking to people about. We have an incursion of a group of Omegas. Um, you remember when I came back last night and had these uh, scratches on my shoulder? Of course. Our, how are you healing, by the way? Like, I reach oh. over to take a look. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I mean, you can probably see some some kind of fading, like like almost fading scars on the shoulder. And um, I guess it's fine. I just changed and it, it healed right up as I expected it would. The other wolf wasn't that lucky. I think he he's in pretty bad shape. That oh my god might be dying or something. We, um, Jackson and I tracked them and found their, whatever you'd call it, nest or something. They kill livestock and uh, it's only a matter of time before they come across a person. I see this is most worrying. I, perhaps it's the curse. Whatever it is, we're going after them. Absolutely. How how can I help you in this? What do you need of me? Well, I'm gathering the pack right now just to go out there and take direct action, I think. I mean, Cody told me to gather the pack and that's what I'm doing. Everything else is in the hands of the Alpha. Ivar, I, there's also something I need your help with. Oh, sure. And... What I'm about to tell you, please don't tell another soul. And I'm activating my move. Which is, which is that? <laughs> which is, what is uh, that? Geese. When you say don't tell another soul, share a secret of the pack made and add plus one to the pack pool and take plus one tie on them. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, Fine. But, but I come closer. And, uh, yeah. oh, I, I should read the rest of the move. To reveal the secret, that pack mate mu must make a disobey move. And if they succeed, uh, I take another plus one tie. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so I place a hand uh, on your forearm and I say, I've learned something and I promise to tell you more when I'm more sure about it. When when I know I have more for the rest of the pack to go on. But for now, I need your help. I tried, 
I need to find my mother and I need your help. Well, you've kept my secret for a long time, so I'm, I'm fine helping you, but uh, your mother, I, well, she left, didn't she? Or she was she driven did. out. Was she, is, just remind me as a player. Was oh yeah, she, of course. She was yeah, the one yeah. driven out, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if if I remember that correctly, yeah. Yeah, that's that's correct. Yeah. yeah. Do you do you have any contact with her? I know it's not law. You're not supposed to, but uh, well. Well, I did. I did have ways to try to look her up, but I've just tried them and none of them work. I'd rather not involve anyone else in it, Ivar. And if I could do it on my own, I would. But she knows things that can help us heal the land and heal magic. And even if I don't agree with her methods, she knows more than I do. Um, I'm putting my hand on yours, but you can, you can feel that I'm not really comfortable with the whole thing. I don't know, ghost. I don't know. I'm, I'm. I'm so sorry to ask you of this. I know that you already do so much for us. I will I... help you, but uh, I would ask you to be sure about the course you're taking. And this, I, I don't know where you get this from, and I won't ask. I obviously have my suspicions here. But uh, I won't ask. Um, but then I trust you. I've trusted you before, and it always pain pan out. So, ever the reason I'm telling you is because if my mother does something to blind me to the truth of her, I know that you can be there to pull me back. I know that. I know that I want too much of my mother and. I want too much for this family, but I just need the information from her and then that's it. That's never just gotta be it. Ghost, you know that as well as I do, right? I know. And I know you understand it better than anyone. That's why I know you can help me. Okay, I'll, I'll see what I can. I might have to involve Paul because he's a lot better at researching stuff than I am. <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm not good at Googling things. And I think this is when Ghost will say something like, oh, but, well, just be careful that Paul doesn't know more. Well, I shouldn't have to tell you. Uh, oh, he will know more. And uh, at the next dinner, Cody asked me to invite him, and he's pretty wild on telling Paul what we are, so. Oh, I, What? I mean, he, you, you heard him last dinner. That's what he wants. I, uh, and then there's a moment where ghosts like, f their eyes flicker. Right, yes, I was, I was there. I remember, um, yes, well, we'll have to do what we can then. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he doesn't want to help me after that. So I'll figure it out. i figure figured it out. I can't ask my, uh, <laughs> my mother has a lot of weird connections. So, I mean, she's not a werewolf, but uh, she has weird connections. So, yeah, I'll, and I think that's the moment maybe when Paul calls. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. Um, and yeah, you'll just get a. Uh, 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 you obviously, you'll you'll see Paul's name on the uh, on on the phone as as it rings. I will take it because I mean I know that Jackson was talking to him, so I'll take it. Uh, Dad, um, could you could you come home? I I think we need to talk. Yeah, I'm on my way. And I, I look at you and say, well, jig is up with Paul. I'm going. And I change into a wolf. 
just to be faster. <laughs> and I, and without question, I know what that means. I opened the door so that you can jump out. Yeah, I leave my phone with you because uh, you, you won't do stuff with it, I think. Awesome. You assume awesome. you haven't actually like put a lock on it or anything. <laughs> Maybe Paul has. You're like, I've turned it off. Isn't that enough? I mean, there's probably, probably Paul has put a lock on it. Like uh, okay. put a number <laughs> that or makes sense. some print or something. <laughs> like, dad, you're not that old, right? Because there I mean, used to be like a face thing, but then Ivor was like, what? I had to hold it how white in front of my face? <laughs> yeah, and uh, the face recognition thing goes better with white people anyway. And uh, yeah. What what you need to do now is is train the uh, the, the thumbprint thing to recognize your uh, your nose print in uh, in wolf uh, wolf form. Oh, I think so. I have a, I have one of these <laughs> where where you make a make a symbol or something. Yeah. Uh, with the stars. So that, that I like that one. That and then of course you can of course if you're savvy you can read it what by the movement that I do on my screen because I don't clean it religiously. <laughs> awesome, but yeah. Um, Cool, and I think as you're you're heading back towards Paul, uh, yeah, I think um, that sounds like a good time for uh, Ghost and uh, Cody to come together. I think it's like just as just as uh, <laughs> uh, Ivar is leaving in in wolf form, and oh, um, right, uh, oh, oh, okay. So you and you and Ivar have had have had the talk then goes right okay yeah is there cody are you and i reach over to touch your shoulder how are you doing uh, and i think i like like this is all in your room right I, I just like hop into your bed and lie down. <laughs> uh, so, so you know you know what it's like when when you get into an argument with your ex and apparently that makes you the boss now. <laughs> well, I uh, and and Ghost looks a little confused. Um, I, I, I suppose it makes sense, Cody. I just, you know, I just, I just needed someone to, to calm down with. And I think that Jackson needs some time with Paul right now, and <laughs> uh, if they're not in like California now or something, but um, <laughs> at California, I... it's 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 nothing. Uh... <laughs> Poor ghost, <laughs> just trying to catch up. Um. If I just I just needed someone who's stable, you know, like like you. And I think I, I sit down next to you on the bed and I take your I, I like immediately like curl up around you. And I, I think my hand naturally goes to the back of your neck uh, to stroke it. And I say, I'm always here for you, Cody. Whatever you need from me, if I can give it to you, I, I, I'll give it to you. And then like, even though I am a werewolf, I just kind of start purring a little bit and just say like, mm, this is nice. And uh, I, am, I, am, I am hitting my move. Uh, that was my intent. 
all along. Uh, scrapping, when you express your emotions physically, like Hub scrapping for Dominus or almost lovers who can't say what they mean, roll plus heart. So let's see how this goes. And that's a 10. Which means that, ba, 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 I believe it is that, yes, the pack mate automatically makes a spill move, but you get to pick which of the four options they spill about. Uh, uh, right, and I need to actually open up the, uh, Draw to go to my PDF for this. Um, yeah. Uh, I'd like you to openly and truthfully express one of the following uh, about about your desire for a pack mate. I think what happens is. Uh, I stroke your hair and I say, Cody, what I want more than anything is for you to feel like this pack is your family and that we love you. And so if there's anything I can do to make you feel that way, to know that it's true. Okay, so uh, we add plus one pack to the pull, and uh, you, I take a tie on you, I believe. Yes, it's I take a tie on you. Uh, and I also, because on a 10 plus, I also uh, uh, provoke, get, I also spill to you from scrapping. Um, Yeah, I uh, I think Cody smiles a bit and then uh, does a surprise toss you off the bed and starts tussling with you like like wolves do, uh, and uh, I think I think he pins you to the ground. Uh, and then is like looking down at you and says. So um, the thing is, I, I kind of like you, Ghost. <laughs> and I think poor Ghost is not going to get it at first. And Ghost is going to say, I, I like you too. Of course like, I do. Like, 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 um, not, not in a, not in like a, a you and Marcus family kind of way, but like in in a in a wouldn't this be better if we had our clothes off sort of way? <laughs> and I think ghost eyes just like slowly widen. <laughs> and they're like, oh I oh oh I I and then there's there's a moment where ghost pauses and but I, wouldn't you want someone better than me? Then what, I mean, and Ghost is like visibly confused. I mean, you're pretty much the, the coolest person in the pack, Ghost. <laughs> I, I suppose I, and then I think I reach over and I kiss your cheek if there's anything I could do to make you happy. I, I, I take that and like, I, I dive in and bite down onto your neck. And I think we fade to black from there. <laughs> uh, so first off, we add another pack to the pool and you also get a tie on me ghost. 
Ooh, do we also like look at your sex move? And, yeah, I, you know. I mean, we look at both our sex moves if, if, exactly. that's, if that's where we're going with this. I was going to yeah, ask. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, yeah, if you and another player character have sex, uh, then they gain uh, the alpha move hearts and minds, but can only use it on me. So basically, you can use the dom you can dominate me with heart instead of teeth. Interesting. Uh, mine's a lot sadder. <laughs> like my sex moves is <laughs> noticeably sadder. Uh, when you and other player character have sex, you have an immediate and overwhelming sense that something terrible will happen to them. The idea of losing them is suddenly and surprisingly painful to you. Gain plus one to all actions that put them in danger when it is for the good of the pack. This lasts until you have sex with another player character. Okay. So, uh, Ghost, I am going to to um, ask what uh, what what uh, vision of of doom do you see uh, concerning Cody? It doesn't have to be anything like um, concrete, but but yeah, what's what's the sort of uh, um, the 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 impression you get? I think we have like those artsy like close up flashes that just show that Cody and Ghost are intimate, but um but from ghost perspective every once in a while they can see these roots winding around cody and uh ghost has this feeling that the curse is like targeting cody in some way and so at the end of it ghost says no matter what i'll protect you And I think Cody says, don't worry, ghost, that's my job now. So good, so good. Awesome, awesome. Um... Yeah, sorry, I'm I'm just confused by the time it was. It was a starting like quarter of an hour late. I, I was I, I'm, I'm just keep second guessing myself. Uh, yeah, oh, awesome. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, cool. So yeah, um, I think uh, yeah, with that we can um, uh, we can switch back over to um, Paul, um, uh, Jackson. Are you are you still planning on on sort of being around when when Iva shows up? I think so, yeah. Yeah, cool, cool. I, I assumed you would, but yeah, I decided to check in. Ava will go first to the shed, where he keeps bare clothes, because uh, I think he occasionally goes out and has to go back, and then he just has a, a place where he keeps bare clothes, so he wouldn't appear without clothes in the house. He will realize this when he stands at the back door and starts to shift and then starts thinking about, oh, maybe this is not the moment when I should walk in without clothes. And he'll throw something on. You can probably, but you can probably see that this was a very, he doesn't wear shoes, for example, because that shoes are, shoes are uncomfortable anyway. Yeah, so he walks in and then says, um, hi. He doesn't know what to say, what else to say. I think Jackson can't meet his eyes. Oh. Dad, is it is it true? I mean, are you what's and I'm going over and I'm I'm just hugging him. Yeah, and he will kind of, um, he just sort of collapses into your arms for a moment um, before but before he then kind of tenses up a little bit and doesn't like push you off, but does kind of, um, you know, draw back a little bit. I let him go and I say, I'm sorry, Paul. I... Yeah, Um, I 
the reason why I didn't tell you is that that's dangerous, right? It's um, it's not safe. If you had known, you might have put yourself in danger. I and and I wouldn't. I I couldn't bear losing you. And I'm looking at Jackson when I when I say that, and you can see my eyes are flashing a little. Have you always? How long has this been? I I, I wasn't born I was made when I was quite young so you mean like you were bitten or something <laughs> yeah something something like that I was I was not in a good shape when that happened it was a, it was basically a say saving my life with that And so could, would, if you bit me, would that, would I be no. a werewolf as well? No, that is not how it works. It has to be the alpha of the pack. And also it doesn't always take. The, the, the alpha you mean like that, like, like the whole wolf thing, like alpha, alpha dogs and that. Yeah, a little, a little. Mm. It's a bit more complicated, actually, but uh, a little. Because I mean, I thought that whole study was like disproven for being like highly unscientific yeah i don't know about that <laughs> so who who is this Alpha, then who who bit you? Who what's what's going on with? Sorry, I just uh, there's. I, you have a lot of questions. I understand that. Maybe um, uh, that's. Uh, I don't know. Let, let, let's let's have a tea, and, and then Jackson can explain a lot about this stuff. You're a better talker. I know. <laughs> I didn't I go think it was my place. Oh, but you started this, Jackson. So it is your place now. I suppose it is. Huh. And I go make a tea, but I'm kind of, when I go, I kind of bump into you, like uh, get out of my way, bump a little at least, just, you know. Who you know you can dominate Jackson into doing into into do making all these explanations instead of you. I think uh, I don't need to because I. Uh, I mean, I could try. Yeah, I could try to. Come on, let's roll things. Rolling stuff is fun. I'll try to do that if I can figure out how. Uh, where's the dice roller, for example? It's in the pack it's, tab. It's yeah. in the pack tab. Okay, um, can... thank you very much. No, I've got it. Cool. I've got it. Thank you. And then I will have to figure out how to dominate people, which is somewhere uh, teeth, in my rule book. I believe, yeah. Um, which is somewhere in my rule book here. Basic moves. There is a dominate teeth, right? I found it. So my teeth are pretty good. I'm not done a dice roller, though. I've got a 10. Perfect. So uh, on a 10 up, um, you uh, take full control of the situation. Um, pieces can't disobey your current order, uh, but um, 
but uh, they will take a plus one tie on you. So yeah, uh, Jackson, yeah. you get it. Get a tie on um, uh, on Ivar. Right. Uh, so and I think Jackson will will try and explain as as broadly as he can when we getting into specifics when asked. We'll occasionally make a comment or just whoopsie, lose my pen, or just make growl or you know what? I bring in the tea and then I go out and I change because this is too complicated. This is too much. I have to be a wolf now. <laughs> yeah, that's that's basically how Ivar deals with emotional turmoil. He turns to a wolf, so it's, not, it's less complicated. <laughs> Sorry, well, might as well throw now. you to, a de- to the deep end here, Paul. <laughs> it, well, yeah, I mean, finally, you can can be a wolf inside his own home. That's uh, that's kind of kind of a relief, right? So he's not really mad at you, Jackson. He's just mad at the situation, mostly. The thing. Um, yeah, uh, and I think Paul will start slightly as as um, uh, Ivar comes back in in wolf form, but um, you know, doesn't freak out anywhere near as uh, to, to the same extent this time as he's beginning to get used to it. And yeah, he will he will ask a lot of questions um, um, about the various ins and outs, and you know, if if person X is a is a werewolf and 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 you know uh, they did you know uh, but where they were bitten and their child is then you know all, all the sort of various permutations that to be honest some of the answers probably you're not even sure about yourself <laughs> um uh and um but yeah um uh i guess the 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 question for me um is um is uh um, Paul going to tell him about Cody. Sorry, is Jackson going to tell Paul about Cody, I should say. I think so, yeah. And he'll he'll mention that things changed recently and uh, that's that's why this is happening. Wait, so, so let me get this straight. You, you, you're a a pack of of werewolves, and you just put Cody in charge. We didn't put Cody in charge. It's it's a whole thing. Cody dominated our alpha and took his place. I was snorting at this like. <laughs> That that seems like uh, that, that doesn't seem like a particularly sensible way of of running things. Uh, but I guess, um, well, what? Who, who am I to say? I'm I'm not going to disagree, but it is the situation. And I knew that if Cody told you, I think it would have gone worse than if it came from me. I guess, uh, I guess, yeah, that's maybe fair. I... Wow, this is a, a lot to take in. It is. I, I, I mean, I, I guess, I guess I'm glad that the two of you aren't going to be keeping any more secrets from me. But this, uh, yeah, this is a lot. Um. The wolf looks kindly, sh- uh, looks a bit shamefaced that the isn't keeping any secrets from me anymore. But uh, you did have to know wolves to to understand that, and I think <laughs> Jackson will and Paul probably wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, in fact, um, I'm just gonna have a. Yeah. 
yeah i do you, i think this you, you could potentially spill to um uh um uh to uh, uh jackson there if you wanted yeah. to I think I might want to because um, I'll have to find the spell move. Uh, uh, yes. Spell move. Um, Where are you? So uh, with the spell, it's when you open the Untruthful Express, one of the following, uh, which is, the, the, so the one this sounds like the, the closest one to here is why you are hurting. Um, mm. Yeah. Uh, because, yeah. Um, yeah, because there is clearly s still something that I'm keeping from Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. uh, you you'll add one to the pack pool and um, mm -hmm. uh, and Jackson will gain a a, a, um, a tie time. on you. But yeah, you can kind of basically express something you know sort of non-verbally um, mm -hmm. that um, that that Jackson will pick up on, but um, but but yeah. uh, Paul won't, mm -hmm. or yeah, at least won't understand. He might yeah. know, notice something, but you know, mm -hmm. you like wine and. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's uh, especially since he said there will be no more secrets. That's when when this this kind of twitch, this kind of shame, and it's clearly associated with shame. This is a shameful secret here that he's not been. You probably don't know what it is. So and I think he'll, he'll kind of look sidelong at, at Ivar with kind of a like a, a furrowed brow for a moment and, and then look back upon and say no more secrets Ivar is whining softly so I think you know um, kind of um, Paul goes to like pour another cup of tea but like the pot's, uh, pot's empty at this point and then says um so what's it what's it like being a wolf it's like being pulled in four different directions at the same time how you're spilling my friend <laughs> I suppose so. I think that's why you're hurting as well, right? Because I don't think Ivor was that aware that you you're not that comfortable with being a wolf. So another tie to Ivar? Or no, Ivar gets another tie on me. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Um, it's it's a lot Paul <laughs> and it's not always easy or fun that's why we tried to protect you Yeah, it's it must be strange. I I can't even begin to imagine. I think I want to talk to him now. I go and change and put on some pants. Nothing else. Pants, yeah, okay. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, because I don't know. I'll I'll come back and say it's not bad. It's not all that bad. No. I mean. But it's dangerous because there are hunters that that hunt werewolves for fun or for the challenge or for our pelts. I mean, I guess, I guess that makes sense. Uh, I mean, as much as any, as any of this does, that if people found out, they might want to hurt you. Yeah, well, there are also, let's be 
honest here, there are also kind of rabbit wolves out there. They don't like the ones of us who are like that, and they will attack us. I think he'll, he'll give a very surface level explanation about tethers and omegas without ever mentioning whose his is. Cool, cool. Yeah. <sighs> and Ivar at that point remembers that he has a job to do for Cody, right? Gathering the pack and stuff like that, which he totally forgot about because Paul is important. Um, and I think you say, oh, that reminds me, I have to do a thing. Um, leave you two alone and be back. And then you go and leave Jackson with the whole Paul situation, which is fine because he created it. <laughs> Technically, I, I blame Cody, but... <laughs> Awesome. Fair, awesome. In, fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, technically, I, you can blame, blame me because I fathered him, but uh, that's, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> awesome. Cool. So, yeah, I think we'll take another quick break there and come back at quarter past. And then we'll, um, I think maybe uh, we'll, we'll try and get everyone together um, for a sort of like d deciding where you want to go next um, uh, type of thing um, as, uh, as you have a couple of, uh, a couple of big, uh, b well, potential threats out there anyway shall we say um yeah, yeah exactly exactly uh, <laughs> uh perfect cool yeah i'll see you all back in in about uh, five minutes yeah so um yeah i think um i think probably at this point it does make sense to kind of gather everyone back up together again um uh um back at the uh, back at the pack house probably um um abigail will have have arrived as well um uh she she is um um she'll be there um as uh, as will um uh camille and um no yes camille noel's the mother right yeah um and um Marcus will also be there, but is is um, you know looking particularly uh, dejected, um, and um, I think there's 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 definitely sort of that um, as as people are gathering. Um, where sort of Marcus is just kind of like yeah, slumped down in a, in a chair somewhere, um, and he will kind of look uh, look between um, uh, Ghost and Cody um, and um, uh, Camille. Uh, I think Ghost will probably um, kind of um, you know glare daggers at you and sort of roll her eyes. Sorry, I was uh, typing something in the chat. Uh, uh, so Camille gave me a look. Uh, a ghost. Uh, oh, okay. um, that, that, that was Sorry. it. Sorry, I missed that. Also, I no, that. no, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> My bad. Uh, yeah. So, as as Camille is looking at me, oh gosh, yeah, this is hmm, mm -hmm, hmm. this is very bad. Um, I have no defense. Uh, I look at Camille and I say, sister, is there something you want to say to me? It can wait until after she kind of waves a hand about whatever we've been, uh, whatever we've been called, uh, called together for. Um, though yes, if you if you wish to provoke spell, uh, you absolutely can try if you want to kind of lean on her, or well, I say lean on her. You know, if you want to try and yeah. Oh my gosh, I think I think Ghost is like I have a feeling I know what she's going to say, and uh, 
I kind of, I, I, I think I'll talk to her about it after, but um, I think the weird thing is Ghost is, is struggling with the fact that they are relieved that Cody is the alpha. Um, and it's not something that they can say openly. Cool, cool. If nobody else says something, then uh, Ivar will say, hey, stop chattering. Alpha wants to say something and points at Cody. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So we're we're all we're already uh using using the, the A word there. Um oh okay. Um <laughs> Wait, so so did you already we were all going to do it together, guys? <laughs> you took the <sighs> mantle of, you took the mantle of alpha. Now lead, Cody. And I'm dominating you because I can. I have a move for you. Yeah. Him. Wait, so what are you dominating me to do here exactly? To lead. What well, yeah, but like like Whatever leading the, is is a uh, okay. Whatever you think that means, that I can't tell okay. you, but uh, but uh, I, I I want something more definitely definite from you than uh, general. Oh, we're all in this together now. No, no, no. I, when I said that, like we're all going to do it together, I was specifically talking about the Paul thing. Because is he here yet? No. Oh, I he's not here. So. Sorry, I thought he. I thought he came with you. No. Uh, yes. Yeah, so. so, no. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. I, my um that i i had assumed he wasn't here for, for okay this. never mind this, sorry, never yeah. mind no, yeah, okay. I, yeah, I i got confused about the framing okay. yeah, that, that's fine sorry no that was i, I wasn't uh, i wasn't clear about that yeah sorry I, I assumed this was more of a a kind of um war council type thing rather yeah. than the, the sort of the um the, the, the yeah okay never mind that that was okay. my mistake okay then we'll uh, we'll just uh rewind a little right? yeah okay cool Wait, is Marcus down here, or is he just still off uh, brooding? He he is here, but he is still brooding. Um, uh, brooding publicly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, like he's, he's, he's not. not even... He's also he's not admitting that he is angry, which is just in fact making him angrier. Yeah. Um, he <laughs> is like this, I said. This he is basically here. why we broke up. Yeah. Um, and also, I mean, he looks as well. It, he doesn't just. It's he looks um, like run down worn out as well he just looks like yeah um completely out of it basically he's here you know he's 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 slumped in a chair he's looking looking yeah um not not in a not not uh, not in a, a great uh, uh not, not in a great and sunny mood put it that way right well anyway anyway guys and i kind of uh make a make that gesture exactly with with my arms uh, um ivar and jackson have uh scouted out a pack of a well not a pack but a, a group of omegas uh and it looks like they're um eating sheep something like that cows they're killing livestock. They're attacking far outlying farms. It's only a matter of time before they come across somebody who shouldn't be there, a human person. Right. And look, they already one of them already picked a fight with Ivar and I don't like to. I don't like to go after other wolves, even if they, if, even if they are omegas. But they're a danger to the pack, and they're a danger to and everyone else uh, in in the area. It's only a matter of time before one of them loses it, and it's not just livestock that they that they go after. And that's what hunters look for, right? Deaths like this among livestock. So we can't have that be a thing here. 
strange behavior on their part as well um abigail says sort of from where she's uh, she's sat um usually omegas either shy away from uh the territory of other wolves keep away from them try and keep safe and away but or they come in all red in uh, tooth and claw and uh, try and pick a fight. The skulking around the edges is unusual. Not the sort of calculated and considered behavior is not a trait one would usually associate with an Omega. Well, I think we can, I think we can try to solve that mystery once the dangers, <sighs> past. But right now we need to Okay, never mind. I guess we had less than I thought then. Never mind. Um, sorry, that was to chat off screen. Um, right now, I think we need to go out in force to defend our territory. And... Um, I mean, I, I think that, I mean, Jackson, I know, like, out, like so I'm just kind of remembering, I'm just kind of thinking to myself here, Jackson, I know that, like, like, human Jackson is, is stacked. Does that carry over to Wolf Jackson as well? Um, I don't have much in teeth, so... I did when I advanced. I put a point in feral, though, so maybe he he does okay. He can handle his own, usually. Cool, Ivar Jackson, you're going to be taking point. You're the biggest wolves we've got, and well, I guess I guess I, I kind of awkwardly look over at uh, at Marcus as as the. A, I'll be joining you. <laughs> um, yeah, and and Marcus is just going to kind of, um, you know, he just sort of like, yeah, like acknowledges what you've said, but doesn't doesn't make any any uh, input beyond sort of a, a, a grunt. Marcus, ghost, you can take one left, the left flank, I think, and uh, Camille and uh, Abigail can take the other. I think ghost visibly nods and says, yes, Alpha. I think it doesn't occur to like Cody that that he has like paired together uh, his ex boyfriend and and the guy he just had sex with, <laughs> who are also I, brothers. <laughs> I think it it has only started to slowly dawn and ghost <laughs> the situation. Awesome, yeah. Um... Cool. Um, so I think, yeah, M Marcus, I said, we'll kind of, um, um, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll acknowledge uh, what you've said. And Camille will, uh, will say, yes, Alpha, uh, you can definitely tell there's a, a moment of hesitation in there. Um, but, but she is, is sort of uh, knuckling down. 
Um, so do we go now? Yeah, I, I that's what I was thinking. Um, unless okay. unless we wanted to, because uh, we haven't really done much in the way of wolfy stuff. Uh, it, this indeed, session. indeed. I'll change into a wolf now. Yeah, because I was also going to. We have eight, so I was going to spend those to uh, of invoke the uh, defend territory. Perfect. Yep. Uh, so yeah, for um, I haven't actually gone over these properly yet, but um, uh, I, I will do so briefly now. Um, so yeah, um, uh, basically there are a number of pack moves. Uh, there's there is uh, the assist move, uh, which is when assisting a pack member, you may spend up to three pack pool to add up to three to their move after rolling. Uh, that that one's uh, available. So all of these moves can usually only be you can only use them when there are at least two pack mates working together. Uh, and they, it has to be done when uh, you're following either the alpha's uh, direct orders or, or their wishes, or you're acting in accordance with the traditions, um, or well, and in in, a, in accordance with the traditions, I should say. Um, so assist is one that's sort of fairly freely available because it, it, you can spend up to three from the pack pool to add up that amount to a roll. Uh, the the bigger ones are defend territory, which has just been invoked, um, which it costs eight pack pool. Um, so uh, this place is yours, your sanctuary, your stronghold, your home. When the pack defends its home territory, each pack mate can improve their next role on one of dominate, maul, or give in to the wolf by one category uh, during the scene. Um, so um, that, that is something you, you all have available to you for this, this next scene. Um, the other ones we also have are in your nature, which is when you pay 10 pack pool, um, you, if, that but it basically lets you if things go badly for you you knew what the enemy would uh, would were doing and you have contingency in place uh, the final one is the big one uh, overwhelm them is 12 pack pool but uh, basically um it allows you to just um narrate complete victory um over uh, over a threat um uh, and you will get sort of narrate stuff in it um, so that's that's uh, um, that's you, that's kind of is is the big one for for like saying that no, this 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 is happening, um, but yeah, cool. So um, the uh, so yeah, with this one because it's been invoked, you will now all um, uh, get you know um, said the first, you, you'll each get to make a um, uh, increase improve the category of one of your roles over the next scene. Of those types um so yeah i think we kind of get that moment where everyone sort of steps outside um uh changes into their wolf forms um as you put as you prepare to go out and hunt um the um i th um uh Um, ghost uh, Camille will again um, uh, g give you that, that glare that you know it says that you know she still she still wants to talk after all this is over, um, and um, yeah, you will all fall uh, fall into uh, into formation. Um, so you know you know where the um, you know where the um, Oh, actually, what, what I will ask first, actually, is as you're all um, uh, shifting and, and lining up, uh, does anyone want to give in to the wolf? Um, yes. Cool. Um, yeah. Um, so um, this is, uh, as a reminder, um, this is a role with uh, Feral. Um, yep. Uh, if a ten plus gets you um, uh, gets you two from the list, a seven to nine gets you one. Um, a zero to six is bad, but uh, currently um, it is impossible for you to get a zero to six result because it will be upgraded by one. Uh, will so, they all be will they all be be upgraded by one category or just once? Uh, yes, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah the one time you get one time during the scene, you can okay. choose to upgrade it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I would logically in this instance, but uh, yes, exactly. You yeah. have to. Okay, so I'll try it anyway. Let's see how that goes. Oh yeah, good thing that I can upgrade it because of all the six. But uh, yeah, so I'm at eight. Cool. And yeah. I think. 
you know what I'm doing here, instead of plus one in my harm or plus two in my armor, I'll add plus two to the pack pool because I think we still might need that for yeah. a fight, right? Sure thing. Sure thing. Um, cool. Um, does anyone else wish to give into the wolf? Um, as I say, this is, you're not required to do this when you turn into your wolf form, but you can choose to do so if you want to kind of power yourself up a bit. Uh, I will do that, and I got a 10. A 10, perfect. So uh, you get to choose two options from that list. Um, so again, yeah, the list is um, plus one harm from your biting claws, plus two armor, uh, plus two to the pack pool, um, heal an additional harm when you come back from wolf form, uh, and the final, the complicated one, which is shifting about your stats. You can reduce hearts and guts to increase teeth and feral um, if you choose. Uh, and that's just temporary. Just temporary, just time. just for the for the for the duration of that shift. Yep. I think I will do that and the plus two armor. Yep. Cool. I also am giving it to the wolf and roll just uh, uh, ten. Nice, nice. So again, yep. Two two options from that list for you. Yeah, I'll roll also. So, um, let's see how it goes. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so I think I'm I'm within range of the seven to nine. Cool. Okay. I will choose. I'll take plus two armor. Cool. Cool. I'm reducing my heart by two and increasing my teeth by two cool cool and you've also added pack to the pool right Stephen? yeah i also added another two pack to the pool nice nice awesome um so yeah um you'll be able to head out to um to the site where um uh, where you um, encountered the um, uh, the Omegas um, before. Um, you'll be able to make fairly quick work of it in, uh, as you uh, lope through the night uh, in your wolf forms. Um, you will you'll be able to pick up their scent uh, again without too much um, difficulty. Um, I'm going to ask if anyone wishes to harness the wolf here to try and get any uh, any more information about them um, or, or if you just want to kind of. Um... I, I think actually to play into both one of my moves as well as a heartbeat. Yeah, I think it. Cody jumps the gun here because I think Cody has not actually seen much in the way of combat with in, like actual where other werewolves. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think Cody runs uh barking forward to uh snap at the pat a snap at one of the other uh omegas and uh like tussle and wrestle with it yeah sure thing and i think you uh you run um into the um uh you run into um the um the center um uh, you know there, there's this there's one um like uh, p pacing around outside um, outside this cave where you're expecting to find them um, and um, yeah it it, um, it growls and snaps back at you but um, as it does um, a um, um, another uh, you'll you'll it's at that point like the scent of a couple of other wolves so the whole this whole area is like saturated with the scent of these these omegas um, uh, but then you kind of smell like the two, two of those scents becoming stronger as um, uh, another two um, uh, another two of these wolves um, come up over um, sort of a rocky um, uh, outcropping just above where you are um, and they will let out howls um, and uh, one of them will uh, will leap down from this this outcropping to barrel into the side of you. Cool. I would try to defend Cody from the second guy who wants to barrel into him yeah I mean, he's, uh, he's got his thing and uh this this other guy shouldn't intervene here 
Yeah, so I want to let you know, Ivar, I have overprotected the move. Yeah. A pack, a pack mate will come to help you out. The pack mate who comes to your aid gets plus one tie on you and can advance one point on their path, their choice. Oh, nice. Cool. I'll take a move path for that and I'll take that tie with you. Hey, I've got five. No, I've got three tie with you and uh, Jackson. I've got no ties with ghosts, which is weird. <laughs> But uh, fair enough. So, yeah. Uh, awesome. So, I yeah. mean, Ghost was not around for the majority of the yeah. Paul drama, so that's fair. True, true. Um, cool. So, yeah, um, uh, if um, if you, uh, um, Ivar, then would like to make our first mauling uh, role. Um, so this is when you use your physical violence in a situation, when you use physical violence in a situation, not your physical violence, mm -hmm. as this includes attacking, defending, causing damage, injury, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You also have that borrow trouble move. Yeah, but I don't think we need to run okay. here because right. it's redirect trouble from right. someone, something. But right. the, uh, that's the, for escaping. That's for escaping. That's for getting getting out mostly. I think. Right, okay. Yeah, sure. And I thing. don't think I want that. I'll just want them all this wolfy here. Yeah, it's a 12. <laughs> I've rolled a 12. I, so. I, doubt, I doubt you're taking anything off of that roll. Uh, so... Um, yeah, perfect. So you get to choose um, two options uh, off of the um, off of the list for mauling. Uh, so again, this is take minus one harm, deal plus one harm, um, discern your opponent's next move, knock someone out, uh, impress or intimidate someone, or do not take minus one forward on your next given to the wolf move. I think I don't want to take minus one forward, and I want to deal more harm. We're in the fight territory here, and I want to leave something for the other player characters to have fun yeah. with. So. so it's technically plus two harm, totally. Te technically plus two harm, yes, because I have a move that gives me plus, uh, cool. plus and I one think, on harm. So yeah, I think with, with all of that taken together, um, you will come in and you will just um, take, the, um, take this other wolf in the throat um, and uh, um, as it as it sort of tries to uh, um, uh, go for um, Cody, um, he, you know, you slam slam um, it, it down. Um, it lets out a soft whimper as it kind of collapses onto the floor, um, bleeding um, heavily. Um, it, it's clearly not going to be getting back up again, um, uh, even even with the aid of uh, of Wolfie uh, uh, regeneration. Um, it is. Uh, um, uh, that that was a uh, killing blow, but I will take damage because I have. But you will, uh, you will indeed take damage. Uh, you will take, um, uh, you will take two damage uh, in return, um, as it Stop. does, as it does. Uh, yes, uh, uh, just just two. I think. Um, I think the yeah. Because when I uh, faced one of these, it was four. Oh no! Sorry, yeah, sorry, three, sorry, yeah, that's that's right, yeah. Um, I think it was four because it had the drop on you, but yeah, it's it's um it's uh I think three is base. Um, it's it's the usual four. Yeah, but sorry, yeah, it's, uh... it's, it's been so long since I have to worry that much about damage in in a game. It's uh, yeah, I'm not used to working with actual harm. Uh... <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, um, uh, Jackson, yeah, I think, um, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll see, um, uh, what, uh, what you're uh, up to. So yeah, you said that there's, you've seen, um, uh, Paul, uh, sorry, Ivar has just, um, dealt with one of these ones. Uh, Cody is in a tussle with another. Um, there is another um, perch just just on a, a bit of a higher um, higher ground um, here. You can also smell. Um, uh, there's definitely at least one other wolf um, uh, in the cave itself um, um, that you can kind of vaguely smell. Uh, what are you going to do? I think I'll go for the one standing on the uh, the perch. Yeah, sure thing, sure thing. Um, um, so yeah, I th it, um, you, you know you'll have to kind of scramble up a little bit to get there. Um, eventually, you can probably cl you can probably clear it with the jump. It's not that high. Um, um, but yeah, if you'd like to roll uh, mauling, all right. Uh, 
Uh, eight and two for the teeth is 10. 10, perfect. So again, you get to choose two off of that list. I think I'll deal plus one harm and uh, discern the opponent's next move. Yeah, sure thing. Um, so um, uh, yeah, you will you 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 um, pile into it and and um, uh, you know it's it's clearly um, uh, badly hurt by your attack, though still um, still up and moving just about. It snaps back at you. Um, and um, um, uh, you you will take uh, three harm in return, though you do get to reduce that by your armor. Um, and oh, actually, no, I think that's sorry. That's technically yes. No, that's I. Yeah, to, to reduce that by your armor. I have a feeling actually it might not, but we'll we'll say it does for now. Um, I think I think well might go through that, but anyway, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, so yeah, you will you will take uh, take three harm in return. Um, but yeah, you um, you will this one that you are fighting um, it it intends to um, it intends to fight you collectively, but probably you directly because you are here uh, to the death. Um, it. It's you're not. It's difficult to tell exactly why it wants to do this. It, this it's not that it's not sensible behavior for it to do that, right? It's it's, um, but there is clearly some reason that that they are they are willing to stand and fight here, um, though that you are not sure why. Right particularly with it would be different if they were uh, if they were a real pack um you would expect obviously them to kind of fight together um and stand usually with omegas they tend to you know if, if seriously wounded they'll tend to turn tail and flee um because they're much more concerned about survival than than most other things unless they're like s severely psychotic but yeah they, they are clearly willing to to um stand and fight here for for reasons you're not certain of um but cool um and um yeah ghost um how are uh what what's um uh what's your um what what are you doing um at this uh, this point yeah um first just mechanically speaking i decided to up the result by one so that i could choose two from oh, yeah. given cool. to the wolf yeah just wanted to put that out there yeah no worries. uh second I know Marcus and I are like off to the one side, but does it make sense that I could uh, catch up to the rest on one of the wolves that were killed? Yeah, okay. sure, sure. Uh, the idea of taking the flank isn't that you're like staying out of the fight, just that you're uh, coming. You're Supporting you're not like taking. You're not taking the the like brunt of the of the attention. You're coming in after we do the initial thing. I think. Nice, nice. Yeah, and I yeah. think what happens is, uh, oh, sorry, you were saying something, David. Oh, no, um, all, all I was going to say is, yeah, as you're running alongside Marcus, you will notice that he's definitely um, not as physically imposing as he was when he still bore the mantle of Alpha. Um, his fur even looks a little bit like ragged um, and, um, uh, you know, just, again, it just looks slightly unhealthy um, in general. Um, but yeah, it's definitely something you'll pick up on as the two of you are. But he is still sort of running along beside you. Um, um, but yeah, and I think carry on. when I notice that, I like uh, I make sure that I'm always running ahead of Marcus, so in case there is an attack, I'm the first one that takes it. Sure um, thing. I think it's something that Marcus can clearly see, but I'm not, you know, saying anything. Um, and then at the moment. Uh, Ivar kills a wolf. Um, that's when I fall upon them in order to speak with the dead. And I know in that sure moment thing. of death, their dreams start to shift out of them. And when I'm in wolf form, I can see the dreams. They look like colors. 
uh, that move all around and I'm going to feast upon them. Awesome. Uh, let's see, let's see how it goes. Okay, so. So that is a 10 as two of the following questions. Sure thing, yeah. The first thing I ask is, what did you want when you were alive? to protect this cave it is special and the next one is what was your secret like what was in the cave yeah um I don't know what it was, but there was, but something lives there. The wise one comes to speak with it. The moment I get this information, I reach out through the telepathic link. Uh, let me just double check if I can read it. One short message or visual impression. So I show both um, I think to everyone in the pack, but I'm especially showing it to Ivar and Cody, the idea of the cave and protecting something in it. And I say like the short message of the wise one, they have a wise one that seeks out whatever is inside the cave. Awesome. Oh, I'm gonna insert an a woo moment just for just for a second. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, like this is when Gosu like look up towards the sky and let out a howl. Awesome, awesome. Um and um yeah, Cody, I think I'll come back to you. So uh yeah, you're you're sort of um um uh trying you're you're like grappling, uh it's probably not the right word when it's two walls fighting, but it'll do uh with this uh with one of these wolves it's it's clearly trying to kind of um bite at you but you're kind of you, you you've you've kind of got it controlled at the moment anyway uh what what, what are you uh, what are you doing um yeah i think that i want to try to as i'm like snarling with my teeth of its throat i think i'm like trying to dominate this group of omegas into into like retreating sure thing uh absolutely uh if you'd like to make that roll uh, so that's a roll with teeth yep and that is uh, we didn't even need this uh <laughs> We we bear, we didn't even need this to spend all that pack. We're all just rolling so well. Um, that's a twelve. <laughs> Perfect. So yeah, on a ten up, on uh, a dominate, uh, you'll take full control of the situation. NPCs will do as they are told, even if it becomes dangerous or if they've been they've been away from you for a long period of time. So yeah, I think as you um, um, as you uh, out a growl and and. Um, uh pin this this one in front of you um i think kind of it will let out um uh, a, a howl of its own um and um the so another wolf will um lope out of the um uh, out of the um cave um uh it looks it looks to be moving a lot slower um and and doesn't doesn't seem to be uh the, the, you know, doesn't doesn't seem to be doing well for itself. This is a uh, I guess it's clearly the injured one um, that we'd, we'd seen previously, um, uh, and the 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 injured one up on the up on the ridge as well. Um, they will all um, start to kind of back away from you. They'll be you know snarling. They'll be baring their teeth to try and and um, um, and threaten you away from them. But they are they are clearly retreating. They are. Um, you, you have broken their uh, their will, and perhaps whatever um, uh, whatever force was holding them in place here. 
Um, and I think with that, that is where we will uh, where we will leave things for today. Uh, so I'll I'll um, I'll just quickly go around. Uh, I know I haven't been checking the last few things, but um, does do um, I'll, I'll, uh, does everyone think they have hit? Um, uh, any XP triggers for this one? So, Cody, uh, do you think you've hit anything in this uh, in this scene? From your... yeah, I was trying to go for energetic by by running out ahead of the group. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, cool. Um, uh, Ivar, do you feel like you've hit any of your heartbeats or um, um, any uh, any of the pet customs in this uh, in this scene? Uh, I think I hit loyal in this scene because I mean. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so yeah, I'll be one in Wolf. Yep, good. Um, Jackson, do you feel like you've hit any of your um, uh, um, heartbeats in this scene or um, or, or anything else uh, relevant? The only thing I think is relevant is a run and hunt as a pack. Yeah, for the culture, cool. So. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, um, yeah, and... I could uh, argue you also got connected because you were working with Ivar right in the wolf form um, I mean you were connected like to it. the entire pack so yeah yeah that sounds okay. that sounds fair um, thank you awesome uh, cool so uh, yeah brilliant thank you very much everyone um, so yeah I will uh, I will stop our recording Oop, if I can find the right tab again as I'm out of here I will stop our recording now uh,